Hey, welcome back to the big board. Uh, I know you probably expected to see this packed up by now, but uh, I was um, you know, sitting here thinking about the uh, breakout options and attrition and things like that, and it's a pretty neat little system the way they allow that to work. And I went through and did with all the calculations and if we did a breakout, when units would come back and when they wouldn't and whether there'd be enough turns left in the game for them to um, offer up some meaningful effort for the defense of France or Paris. And uh, the net result was, yes, there would be a lot of units coming back, but no, there would not be uh, uh, enough forces to allow a meaningful, uh, uh, certainly a defense of Paris, but there's no way we would be able to get uh, forces over to help protect the ports. So with this force here in the middle, uh, it would be the, you know, I, I kind of shuffled around a few of the pieces back there a little bit to kind of replicate what, you know, what may have happened or what might happen if uh, the French played their turn or the Allies played their turn. And so now all of these forces would in essence, um, his turn I here. Uh, so that would be the goal, I think, for this turn, would be to uh, push uh, units up to here and try and capture this intersection <coughs> and continue and do a, a second envelopment this way. Uh, manage to get enough supply into reasonable locations that, although it would be a little bit of a stretch, we could certainly fuel everybody and move everybody and push all of this infantry, all of this up and forward, all of these guys, uh, we would lay some barrages down and, and mess up some of the bigger units. There's really not a whole lot here anymore. There's the 50th here and some bits and pieces that could flip to four threes. These are all breakdowns. So there would be a massive breakout towards the coast. And the units here around the Dinant area, I, I would uh, track them along the Maginot line down to here somewhere. All this little town here and start pushing this way. Uh, not a whole uh, lot of excitement from that angle, but from over here, we could uh, we can meander through here, along this rail line, put the rest of this out of supply this turn, and they all would uh, wither on the vine uh, within two turns. So the, I would probably, uh, assuming that with this fell, which, is more than likely the case. There's a cavalry unit, two cavalry, and an army unit in here. I think that's it. You know, those guys, that would fall uh, this turn on next. Uh, the only challenge there would be getting, keeping everybody in trace. Uh, I've got a guy who can throw eight, but I need to move some supply to here uh, to get him to within range, because there's no highway here, this is a road. So it's probably a, uh, another massive or significant uh, German victory uh, this time. It did really well for the Allies this time. I'm really disappointed I made this one little mistake uh, here with this hex here, these two hexes. Uh, that, that cracked the wedge, so to speak, or turned the line, as they say. Anyway, lots of fun. Uh, certainly not the, you know, the historical outcome but certainly uh, entertaining. And if the rest of the OCS system is gonna play like this, but over 60 or 70 turns or 80 turns or 140 turns, however many turns there are, then uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, uh, I'm, I'm daunted by that, but excited at the same time. So I highly recommend this system. It's really well thought out. You get to really use all of the different aspects of the system in this game. You get to use the artillery uh, for a change. They are way more important than just road bumps now in this particular uh, game. And, uh, and I think it brings, uh, shines a lot, a lot of light on the uh, simulation aspects of this game, how uh, effectively it can capture a range of different topics and, uh, and allow you to use all the different forces and show you how all these forces work together really well. Uh, I'm very impressed. So all that bitching and moaning that I've read about and that I've had myself for not being able to use the artillery and not really, for myself, not really understanding the air game, uh, in this you'll get to experience it all in a, in a microcosm of, you know, two maps, 
And there's a lot of counters on that map, but, uh, but it's manageable and certainly a great solo experience as well. Anyway, that's a bit of a long rant, but uh, that was my last one, my last video on uh, uh, the Blitzkrieg Legend from MMP.